Hi everyone, welcome to Yoga with Mariah. Welcome back. Um, I hope you enjoyed my first class last week, the little garden tour. Um, this week we're going to do a little journey of a seed. So a seed that um, plants and becomes a tree, right? Um, so to get us started today, just get your yoga mat in a comfortable place, maybe a blanket or something around you, wearing comfy clothes, leggings, comfy sweaters, anything you'd like. Um, so to get started, we're going to do a little shake out just like we did last time. <clears throat> so shaking our bodies, we're just going to shake our arms and shake our legs. Feel kind of silly, let your head shake around, maybe keep your eyes closed or open, whatever feels great. And just start connecting to your breath. So feeling what it's like to breathe and move. Good. One more deep breath. Good. Now stand really still. And feel what it's like to stay really still. Now feel your feet. Maybe pick up all ten toes and put them back down on the mat nice and carefully. Stand up high on your tippy toes. Good. Now come back down standing. Awesome. So we're going to start with a little meditation. So coming down onto your knees. We're going to start in seed pose. Okay, so the first pose of our class, seed pose. So seed pose, you're on your knees and your forehead is going to be down on the mat. So walking your hands out slowly. Coming down into seed pose, grabbing your hands right around for your heels, holding on tight and rocking side to side in your seed pose. So getting comfortable here, relax your face, and think about all the seeds that are in the ground, seeds under the dirt, that one day will become big, beautiful trees. So just imagine all the seeds, imagine all the roots, and how connected everything is under the ground. So much potential in our little seed. Big ball of energy in here. Take three deep breaths where you are. I want to hear your breath loud. So in through your nose and out through your mouth. Good. Two more breaths. Good. One more. Now from seed pose, we're going to come up. We're going to come onto our bottom. So scoot your legs forward and hug your knees really tight. So this is seed number two. So this seed has a lot more energy than that seed. So this seed is rocking and roll and side to side. Feel how balanced you can still be. And then you're gonna rock and roll backwards. So we're gonna hold our knees. We're gonna rock back and forth just a couple times. So gaining a little bit of energy. We're bringing this seed to have the potential to grow into a teeny little sprout in just a minute. Awesome, taking control of your breath again. Good. Rock and roll two more times. One and two. And come up onto your knees from rock and roll. From rock and roll, we're going to become a little sprout. Good. So on your knees here, the next thing that happens is the seed starts to bubble up inside. So putting your hands together, wrists together, and just kind of circling your hands. So just feel what it's like to move your wrists. So it's bubbling up inside. The seed has gotten a lot of sunlight, a lot of rain, and it's gonna slowly start growing a sprout out of its seed. So reach that sprout up, breathing, and breathe out as it comes down. So you can make this as silly or as serious as you want, maybe wiggle even more, your whole body. Wiggle that sprout up and out of the seed and back down, staying connected to your breath, right? So breathing in, reach up, and exhale as you come down. Two more at your own pace. What kind of tree will you become today? What kind of tree are you going to be? Will you be an oak tree, a spruce tree, an evergreen? Uh, what kind of fruit tree would you be? Maybe a banana tree, an apple tree, a pear tree, maybe an avocado if you like avocados. Awesome, so bring those hands down. Feel what it's like to be extremely still after being a bubbling little sprout. Feels pretty good, right? Feeling grounded? Awesome. So from our sprout pose, we're going to come up and think about how our cactus trees or cactus plants, um, they all have little seeds too. So they start as a little seed and then they crack open and become a cactus. So get your cactus arms ready. We're going to connect our elbows and connect our hands right in front of us. Great, so this cactus seed is almost ready, but it's not quite ready to become a sprout. So we're gonna 
Breathe in as we open our cactus arms. A little bit of the shell is opening of the seat and then exhale, bring those cactus arms back together. Look up as you inhale, open cactus arms. Exhale, close. Good, one more time, friends. Open up and exhale, close those cactus arms. Nice and tight, curl into a teeny little, teeny little ball. Good, and then come up to sitting straight up again. Awesome. This time we're gonna come high on our knees. And I want us to think about what trees are like. Trees are tall, they are grounded, and they are strong, right? So we are working our way slowly to becoming a big, crazy tree that we would like to be one day. Um, so from here, we're gonna be on our knees, we're gonna do our sprout pose one more time. So namaste hands, wiggling our hands up, breathing in as we reach to the sun and exhale as we bring our sprout back down into our seed. Awesome. Everyone's doing great. Inhale, reach your sprout. Maybe get even crazier and sillier this time. Imagine your sprout coming out. Which tree are you gonna be? Connect back to that. You're gonna be tall, grounded, and strong one day. Awesome, keep wiggling. One more reach, inhale, reach the sprout. And then exhale, arms come out like a big ray of sunshine. So let's do two more sunshine poses, okay? So we're gonna inhale our arms up like sun rays and exhale, arms down to the side, good. One more time, inhale, arms are raised up to the sky. Exhale, arms come back down by your side, good. So underneath of the ground where all of the tree's roots are connected, they are all connected to provide nutrients and water to each other. So they share resources under the ground and we just can't see it. So we're all gonna become a little root. So root your uh, left foot or right foot, doesn't matter, out to your side. And we're gonna pretend that we are a little root reaching out to find the other trees to share uh, nutrients and resources with. So get your arms, feel like your little roots growing out to the side. Reach for your toes, maybe you can't quite get there, that's okay, and then come back up. Good, so feel how you're really balanced here. Maybe you need to hold on to something, that's okay too. But you're really reaching like a little root out away from the bottom of the tree, reaching to share nutrients and water. Good, one more reach. Inhale and exhale. Good, keep that breath moving nice and loud and slow. Come up to the middle, kind of wiggle it out. And other side, reach that root out to this side and then your arms are little tendrils of roots coming out, reaching, 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 and come back to the center, pull it back in. Inhale, reach your roots out under the ground and exhale, come back together. One more time, reach, reach, reach. Feel like you're reaching for your friends or your roots over there. Awesome, come back to the center. Maybe not a stay hands just to feel connected again. From, from there, we're gonna work our way up to standing. So hands on the ground, come onto your feet. And we're gonna slowly raise up into a weeping willow tree. So standing tall and firm with your feet, but then hands are down on the ground. So bend those knees, right? You're seeing side on the side here. So bend your knees like a weeping willow, legs out wide, and you're gonna sway from side to side. Okay, so big sweep. Maybe sweep your hands along the ground, your mat. Connecting back to your breath. <sighs> nice and slow, weeping willow tree. <sighs> Good, one more deep breath. <sighs> and then from your hanging we weeping willow, you slowly stand up all the way. Head comes up last, so breathing slow. Awesome, we're gonna do some sunshine pose. I know we just did some sunshine with our arms, but we're gonna stand nice and wide and be some big rays of sunshine that our trees need to grow, right? So inhale, arms up, reach to the sky. Exhale, like a sun ray, arms out wide. Good, two more. Inhale, reach up. And exhale, arms back down by your side. One more, everything you got. Inhale, reach, sun rays up to the sky. Exhale, arms down by your side. Awesome. So from sun rays, we're gonna come into mountain. So from mountain pose, you just wanna have your feet super grounded, okay? So have your feet on the ground, maybe pick up those toes again, feel how it feels. We're gonna start by being really still, okay? So if you can close your eyes, if you feel safe doing that, that's great. If not, please follow along. So 
with a good smile on your face, hands facing wide for balance. We're gonna rock side to side, feeling how one foot could hold us up, but we're not there yet. We're not quite ready to balance. So we're just feeling what it's like to raise each foot off the ground. Whoa, if you go too far to one side, you might even fall over. So just be nice and careful, nice and slow. Connect to your breath and repeat after me. I am tall, I am grounded, and I am strong. Good. Okay, so here in our mountain pose, we're gonna slowly become a tree. But I just wanna say one of my favorite trees Actually, two favorite trees are banana trees and apple trees, my favorite fruits. So for banana tree, we're gonna all become a little banana real quick, okay? So feet grounded. We're gonna reach our arms up on inhale, inhale, exhale to one side. Come to, into your little banana. See how we're curved? My body's curved, I'm holding it nice and still. My body's working, my core is working to hold me in a little banana pose. So breathe here, two breaths. Go one more. Awesome, friends. Come back up to the middle. Breathe in. Exhale, other side. Banana. See how I'm curved to the side? Not falling over. Good. Nice and strong. Inhale, back up to the center. Exhale, arms down by your side. Shake it out. Shake out your legs. Awesome. Next, we're going to do a little apple picking. I know not everyone's been to an apple orchard, but I grew up in Virginia where we went to apple orchards as a kid all the time and I was always reaching for apples in the tree. So we're gonna do some reaching real quick to get our bodies a little warmed up up here. So reaching up, reaching for an apple and then pulling it back down nice and strong. Reach for that other apple, maybe it's a green one this time and pull it down nice and strong. Reaching and moving side to side. See how your breath can coordinate your reach. So inhale as you reach, Exhale, inhale, reach, exhale. Two more reaches each side. One, and one, and two, and two. Reach for the sky. Awesome, bring that hand down by your side. Wiggle it out. Wish we could eat those apples, I'm so hungry. Um, so next we're gonna be doing our tree pose that we are working our way to this whole time. And I wanna say, some of the things that trees do for us, and I'm sure you can think of these, is provide shade, shelter, food, and oxygen. So they provide us shade when we're um, in the parks and it's super hot sunny day. They provide us uh, animals, shelter, like owls, birds, squirrels. They use trees and uh, twigs and leaves for their, for their nests and to create their own homes. And then last but not least, trees provide oxygen for us and all living beings. So the oxygen that trees put out is an, an enormous amount, right? So I found out recently that just one big tree, like maybe the biggest oak tree in your yard or biggest spruce tree you've seen, that tree can provide enough oxygen for four people to live and breathe all day long in one day. So just think about how important those trees are for us and how grateful we are for them, right? So when we're getting into our tree pose, we wanna be really sturdy and balanced. So first we're gonna start with our and our heel on our ankle. Toes are on the ground, we're finding balance here. Maybe you have a chair you can hold on to or a wall to place your hand on if you're not sturdy. So let's try this out here. So let's try and stay really still. Maybe bend in that standing uh, leg and knee and arms wide. Open up your heart, look up to the sky. Feel the sun rays coming down on your tree. What tree are you? What did you decide earlier? I think I'm gonna be an evergreen tree because I love how they smell. Think about what your tree is. What do they smell like? What does it look like? What does it feel like? What does it taste like? Hopefully you haven't tasted your tree, but just think about that for a moment. And you let your arms be the, the limbs of your tree, right? So if you wanna raise your limbs up and your branches, maybe they start swaying in the wind, that's great. Maybe your tree is really sturdy and your hands are just like funny little branches sticking out, right? So whatever feels good for you, stay here for two more deep breaths. Find something to focus on that's not moving. It'll help you from being imbalanced. Good, awesome. Arms or limbs back down by your side, wiggle it out. We're gonna try tree on both sides, two times each. So try that foot again, or the other foot. So get your heel to your ankle, toes on the ground for stability. Maybe your hands are on your hips, whatever feels good for you and your tree. So my hands are maybe by my side, on my hips. 
Maybe they're up in our cactus. So whatever feels right, pick your treat. Maybe you're in the swaying tree and stay connected to your breath. So wherever you are is great. Breathing deep. Awesome. Everyone looks great. Love the different trees that I'm seeing out there. Bring those trees or, or branches down by your side. Shake it out. This time we're gonna do a little bit of a challenge to finish this off. We're gonna do um, tree one more time, but this time if you feel like this was a little too easy for you, you could bring your foot up to your calf muscle and you could feel really sturdy here. So if you're here, that's great. If you're here, stay there as well. So pick your tree again. Maybe it's the same tree, maybe it's different. This time we're gonna do a little challenge. So if your arms are out by your side or swaying, it doesn't matter. But this time we're going to use our eyes to look around the room in a little circle, maybe side to side. Just challenge yourself. See if you can stay balanced as you move your head or if you move your limbs and your branches, can you stay stable? Stable, grounded, and strong. Awesome. If that was too easy for you, let's try closing our eyes this time. So pick your tree and then close your eyes and see if you can stand still with limited balance, limited wiggling, unlike me. <laughs> Awesome, so let's just open our eyes if we tried that out. Shake it out, it's awesome tries. Everyone's doing really great. Awesome, let's try that on the other side, okay? Last tree pose. So ankle, or sorry, heel up to your ankle. Get your sturdy tree, maybe it's your windy tree, whatever you chose. And this time we're gonna look around the room using your eyes and your neck and your head to swivel around. See how stable and balanced you can stay as you do a little circular motion, staying connected to your breath. I know it's kind of hard, you kind of forget about the breath, but it happens naturally. It's just better to breathe deep. Awesome, friends, looking great. Now, if you're ready and if you feel confident enough, you could change your foot placement. It's a little wiggly for me, but I'm gonna try it because I love to challenge myself. Your hands can be where they wanna be, but let's try to close our eyes. Wherever we are, try closing our eyes. Maybe we're blowing in the wind, a little windy tree. <sighs> Breathing deep. <sighs> okay, it's okay if you fall out of your tree or if you wiggle too much. Okay, open your eyes and come back to where we started. Mountain pose, pick up your toes, pick up your heels, rocking back and forth, feeling tall, grounded, and strong. So if you're here, that's awesome. If you're sitting down or elsewhere, that's fine too, wherever makes you feel good. But to close out this practice, we're gonna do a little teeny meditation. So let's come back down into our seed pose, okay? Onto our knees, forehead down onto our mat, hands wrapped around holding our feet, okay? So coming down into your little seed, back into the earth, we're gonna plant ourselves into the earth Taking all that sunshine, all the water, our connected roots. Come back to your breath. Take three deep, big belly breaths while you're under, in your, under the dirt in your seed pose. I want to hear your breathing. One more breath. Awesome. All right, friends, now sitting up nice and tall. Let's just reflect for a moment on the trees that we became today, the trees that will become one day in our future. Let's think about what trees provide for us and how we can provide things to our friends and families and, and people we come in, um, in touch with, like our teachers too. Like what can we do to provide to them? Um, can we be more kind? Can we lend a helping hand? Um, so just think about what we can do to be more like trees they provide so much to us. They provide the oxygen, the air that we breathe. So let's just think about that and think about how grateful we are for trees every day. Thank you so much for practicing my little tree series with me. And I hope to see you next time. I do prayer hands at the end of yoga just to feel really grateful um, and thank everyone for being here. You can also clasp your hands in a little ball if you like, if that feels more comfortable. Namaste. Thank you so much, friends. I'll see you next time.